Hey, good morning guys. Bill again, Competition Cars. So now we're gonna do the interior, or interior engine bay and trunk walk around. It's 1978 Lincoln Mark V Diamond Jubilee Edition. It's a 6,900 mile car in incredible condition. One owner, I still have the North Carolina title from 1978 where this guy bought this car new. Super straight and clean engine bay. No rot, no rust, no degree, no grease or grime or debris under there. It's got an original engine bay mat. Dirty, but it's held up well. I don't like the aftermarket mats because they never fit good. This is a rust-free car. 460 V8, four barrel. AC has been converted to the R134. And um, if you look again, if you come around my hand, you look at here, all the nuts and bolts and all the brackets. I mean, everything looks like really nice and really original. It's retained a lot of its original stickers, its original valve cover markings. And what I also thought was pretty neat, and the car runs like a top, but look at these plug wires. <clears throat> They're still date coded from 1978. You can see that right there, which is pretty cool. I got some pictures of that too. So let's go around to the um, interior of the car. Walking around here to the driver's side. Interior is just mint condition. I mean, the door panels, Anthony, if you'll flash up under the bottom of the doors, I always tell you guys I never do rusty cars, so face up under here, you can see how clean and straight that is. There's no rust or corrosion. All the faux wood is in excellent condition. And the Diamond Jubilees had a little different upholstery on your door panels and seats and, and the dash. I'm assuming this leather, it feels like it could be leather wrapped, which most of them are just like a harder plastic. No wear and tear on the seats, they're very full and plush. Steering wheel also, if you look at the edges, a lot of times the edges of the steering wheel will get, get worn off and cracked. This is, they're, they're perfectly in immaculate condition. Has the miles to empty, little trip odometer. I'll demonstrate that when the car is doing the driving video. 6,915 miles, that is the right miles on the car. It's got the quadrasonic stereo. Headliner's in great condition, the carpets, the mats. This is a time capsule, guys. This is like going back to 1978 and picking up a basically brand new uh, Diamond Jubilee. Now let me show you some of the goodies on this car. So in here is the Fat 3 CB, which is cool. And we'll demonstrate that in the in the driving video. Also, very Rolls Royce-like. It's got a pull-out umbrella from the factory in your, in your console here, which is all there, it's all intact. Very nice carrying case that it comes in. So this is stuff that normally gets lost along the way over the years. You got your eight track holders inside here, which is kind of cool. But everything about this car is just super pristine. It even smells new to me, okay? Door panels or door jams look good. Look at the back. The, the seat is still in the, uh, in the in the wrapper there. The seat belt is still in the wrapper. This little piece of wood trim, I'm gonna work with that. It needs to be kind of fastened back down. Look at look at all the, the faux wood in the back. I mean, every, the attention to detail in this car is just incredible. They did a heck of a job with this car. Now, coming around to the trunk, there's a ton of goodies in this trunk. Now, as I said, it is a one owner. The title is still titled to the guy, original guy in 78. It's a 1978 title, which is pretty rare to have. Check out these keys. I'll take a picture of these. They're not in the photo gallery yet, but those are actually wood grain on those keys. How cool is that? It's like he saved it, these keys, never used these and used the regular keys. You can see it's got like a wood grain finish to match the dash. Very cool. Original window sticker, $20,909. Awesome. Got the some information on the toolkit here. Now this is, let me move some of this out of the way. I got all the registration cards. I've got the extra keys. I've got the garage door opener. Got the uh, rules and regulations book for the CB. These are, I, I'm assuming these are aftermarket. They look like seat covers. So I don't know if you had a made or if that was something you could have got from Ford back in the day. Maybe you experts can tell me that. But these appear to be matching seat covers. Owner's manual, this is for the umbrella. CB radio, again, um, the, the factory garage opener, the protect the plate, which is cool. All the registration cards were registered over the years. Now, the tool kit, got Diamond Jubilee insignia on here. Everything that this toolkit came with is still here and intact and not been touched or used, okay? This right here goes in there. That's your extra bulbs and lights and fuses. So look at that. 
brand spanking new. The original flares from 1978. Everything you'd need to do a little quick roadside assistance on your car. Um, let's see here. Again, registrations, extra keys, factory license plate brackets from Ford. It's still on the wrapper, brand new. This is the box that the this came in. Another Diamond Jubilee. Perfect, perfect leather carrying case where all your manuals and stuff will go. Um, and you got, you know, warranty information, booklets and all that stuff. That's really cool. Carpeted trunk, regular Lincoln and Mark 5 don't have that. Coming around to the passenger side. Again, a pristine view. No cracks, no, no imperfections, just a brand spanking new car. I mean, this is really, if you guys, if you're a serious collector and you want the right Diamond Jubilee, this is the car. You will officially be the second owner of this car. Now, it's got the gentleman's initials on the doors. It's got his name on the dash, which matches the name on the title. And just a just a stunning car. I mean, I'm just so fortunate to find, find stuff like this. Look at the carpets. Brand new. Piece of fuzz there. Brand new. No stains. Car was never smoked in. The ashtray is perfect, clean. All these door panels are all in good shape. The pull straps are in great shape. Very plush and very luxurious, this car is. So check it out, guys. I'm super excited. I mean, I get excited about all my old cars, but this one here in particular, it's a beautiful color, just stunning. It looks good, drives good. Everything but the clock works, and we'll go over that in the driving video. When I do my driving video, I'll touch each button, show you what works, and if something doesn't work, we'll disclose it. So at least with me, you know, you're getting what you're, what you're paying for. And uh, I, again, the trunk, the, the, the load of stuff in the trunk. I mean, look at that. I mean, where do you come across a car that has all this with it? Oh, there's another. Oh, those are the leather straps that hold the, uh, there's some leather straps from the factory that hold this toolkit. And you wrap that toolkit up and then you wrap it and fasten it by that. It's got the, uh, you know, well, let me look at the spare. And again, these these uh, seat covers, I, I just can't tell if they're from the factory or if they're, if they're aftermarket. But these are definitely made to slide over the seats to protect the seats. I have to, I'd have to say these are probably made, I would think. But it's two tones, like a, like a velvety and then like a leather two tone. So, and let's look what we got for the tire. Oh yeah, look at that. Got the double stripe, never on the ground, brand new in the wrapper. LR7815. Very cool. So you're buying a piece of uh, Lincoln history here, guys, and it's, it's an amazing car. So any questions, put them in the comment section. You're going to see this video on YouTube first. This car should go live on Bring a Trailer probably within inside of a week. Today is Wednesday, I think, May 30th. So look for it to start end of the week or the beginning of next week. But just an amazing car. Lots to love about it. And uh, it'll be, it's going to be serviced, ready to go. We've run these cars to the shop, make sure that wolves change it all but like i said the guy that owned this car owned a really big salvage yard in north carolina and uh he had his own shop and stuff so a lot of the oil changes and stuff and service work was was done by him and his crew um internally so there's not necessarily a bunch of receipts but i'll give you the receipt where we had the recent oil change done so you know everything's fresh you hit the key you drive the car and you enjoy it so check it out guys it's an awesome car any questions i'll respond very quickly thanks and have a great day